Hey, what's up? Kyle here again. Um, welcome to my November 24th, 2011 DVD and Blu-ray update where I'll show all the DVDs and Blu-rays I got over the past couple months and weeks. And this is a big update, guys. I got a lot of things to show. And I'm sorry I haven't been do getting to do much of these lately. I've been on, a been very busy lately with movie projects and things, projects and stuff coming up. A lot of cool things are coming up, and I'm finally getting to do this. And uh, let's get the DVD, let's get the DVD update started. Here we go. First one I got is The Dividing Hour, and I didn't really get to watch this yet, like, I can't get into too much detail into this one because I haven't watched it really yet, but it looks really cool, it's an independent film, I can't really say what it's about because I haven't watched it yet, but I'm def it definitely looks cool, I can't wait to check this out. It's an it's a independent film. Next ones I got are from, a. Uh, Two of my fi two of my fi one of my favorite two of my favorite YouTubers. It's a uh, Dead Pit. It's the Dead Pit guys. And I got Dead Pit see their their DVDs Dead Pits on the road season one, season two, and season three. I got them. I got the, all the seasons, and they're really good. It it's their shows that were on uh on their on YouTube that made it they made it into DVDs and like movie reviews they sh they go on their own review movies really cool dudes I definitely check them out I'll put the link in the bottom of this video for their channel for the Dead Pit channel definitely check this out really and then there's a movie that I want to they have a on the road movie on their website that I can't I'm definitely looking forward to seeing and uh definitely check these guys out really cool two two of my favorite YouTubers on YouTube definitely check them out really cool guys. Next one I got is Return to Horror High, and I didn't see this one yet either. It's with George Clooney, and it's like, it's a comedy horror, kind of like Re Return of the Living Dead. It looks really cool. I can't wait to check this out. I'm sorry, guys. I haven't, I can't get into too much detail about these movies because I haven't watched them all. But mo some of them I watched, like this one. I watched this one. It's a mad, mad, mad world. And uh, I, I like this movie, except... It's way too fucking long, <laughs> a long, long movie. It's I mean like first that first half, first out two hours was good enough, but after a while it gets so lame and boring. But it's it's fun. If it it would be really funny if it, it if it wasn't so long. I but uh I don't know. It's it's just too. If you guys can't, if you guys don't, it's like to like a four hour movie. If you guys can't sit for a four hour movie, I definitely wouldn't check this out, but it's a funny movie. It's just way overdone and yeah, just, yeah. I don't know. Next one I got is a Mel Brooks movie and it's Blazing Saddles and uh, this was really funny. It's a spoof on the cowboy, cowboy and Indian movies, like Western movies. And you all heard of this. It's a classic, but I, I don't like it as, I, I like Spaceballs b m more. Uh, Spaceballs, I like a little bit more because that I like that one. That one was hysterically funny, and I love I love Star Wars. They spoof Star Wars and Star Trek Spaceballs. I like that one a little more, but this one just as good. I definitely check this out. There's some surprise cameos, and I'm not gonna say who, but you know, you guys have all seen this. You know, it's a classic. Definitely check this out. Next one I got is uh, from one of my, and this is my favorite episode of Goosebumps, and it's Welcome to Dead House on DVD. And this episode scared the shit out of me when I first saw this. It's creepy. I mean, the zombies and everything. The it was very well done. It's about these, you know, this this family moves into a, into a new into a new house in a new neighborhood called Dark Falls, where a chemical factory, like like something went wrong with the chemical factory, and made them all the you know, people in the towns into zombies, and it's really, it's really good, really scary. Definitely check this out if you haven't seen it. You probably have all seen it. It's a, it's a classic. I love the Goosebumps series. I'm thinking I'm going to get all of them, but this is my, no, this is my top fate. This is my number one favorite episode. Definitely check this out. Welcome to Dead House. And it's hard. I got scared just to go to sleep after. I can't go to sleep after watching that movie. It was so scary. Really good. I definitely would check it out. It's very cheesy. The, these series, the Goosebumps series, but I love. But it's very good. I love cheesy stuff. That's just me. I don't know. Definitely check it out. Next one I got is special edition of Carrie, the original Carrie, not the remake. I got the remake, and I didn't. I didn't watch that yet, but. I, I thought the remake, this one right here, I thought this right here was was the original, like just in a different cover because look, they look so much alike, don't they? But the the original, 
definitely check out the original. I definitely check this out. Really creepy. And John Travolta. This is like I think John Travolta's first movie that he was starred that he co-starred co in. I definitely check this out. And it also has Sissy Spac. I don't know how to pronounce her name which is Carrie, and I definitely checked this out. You guys have all seen this. This is scary. I, I love it. It's a classic. It's about this 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 girl has special powers. She goes to prom. No one, everyone makes pull, pr pulls pranks on her, makes fun of her, and she goes at and then she, at the at the prom she causes like a whole like ma this, like this this disaster. People dying from her powers and her mind because everyone was teasing her, picking on her, and she and just a lot of crazy shit happens. Definitely check this out if you haven't seen it. It's a classic. You all have seen this. I love this movie, Carrie. I didn't see the remake yet, but the original is really good. Definitely worth checking out. Next one I got is The Manson Family, Charles Manson, and this is a documentary on Charles Manson. It's not what I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be like a like a movie, kind of like Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer with Henry Lee Lucas showing like what really happened. I thought this movie was going to be like, you know, showing what actually happened. All it was was just talking about Charles Manson, showing little clips and stuff. I didn't, I don't know, I didn't watch the the entire thing of it because after a while it gets really boring, but I, I'm very interested in the in the Charles Manson story. It's, he's a sick man, though, very sick man. I, if you like serial killer movies, i definitely check this out, but it's not what I expect. I, you know, if you're interested in Charles Manson's story, definitely check this out, but it's not what I thought it was. All it was was just interviews. It was basically a documentary with interviews of like, you know, interviews of about Charles Manson and shit. It's not what I expected. I thought it was going to be like, you know, like the showing what actually happened, what Charles Manson actually did, like the crimes and the killings and the gr girls getting brainwashed, but it's not what I expected. I don't know. It was oh, it was interesting, you know, but it's not what I expected. I don't know. I, I it wasn't that good. Next one I got, and it's starring two of my favorite YouTubers, Sean C. Phillips and MJ Kelly, and it's by the same company that did the Severed In, and it's the Demon of Castleberry, starring Sean C. Phillips and MJ Kelly, two two cool dudes, two of my favorite YouTubers, and I'll put the link for Cool Dude or Sean C. Phillips and MJ Kelly underneath this video. I definitely check this out. Please support Sean C. Phillips and MJ Kelly, really cool dudes, and I definitely check this out. If you if you like all their if you like the Severed In, I de you would definitely love this. It's really good movie. It's about a young care. It's a young girl takes care of this uh, of a house for uh, for a jump, summer job, and she's like a news, like you know something to. She's writing an article about it, and then she invites her friends over, and crazy shit happens from there. Definitely worth checking out. It's it kept me at the edge of my seat. It's like a supernatural horror thriller with you know demons and demonic possessions and stuff. Definitely check this out. Really worth seeing. Definitely check it out. Next one I got is Tales from the Crypt seasons. I have the first two seasons. I just got season th three and four of Tales from the Crypt, and I love these shows. I I remember growing up with these. They're really good. Uh, and there's this one one on on here that I, there's one that one of my this like has my favorite one on here, and on I think it's the fourth one has what's cooking and went it with the uh, the meat shop when they, you know when they serve human meat to the customers I, and that was a really cool episode I definitely check these out if you love Tales from the Crypt and definitely check these out really worth seeing I love the Tales from the Crypt series